Okay, so um, Windows 11 is very nearly upon us. That's a, a good thing. Um, what's not such a good thing is that cyber criminals uh, are taking big advantage of this at the minute. So what is Microsoft doing to protect people in Windows 11? Uh, we've spoken quite a lot about this in the past um, on STC and uh, as well as your normal uh, protections that you'd expect that you get in Windows 10. They've upped the game slightly with a requirement for something called a trusted platform module, um, which they, to install Windows 11, you need the very latest, which is TPM2. I'm not gonna go into all the details of that. If you want to know what that is, just look at some of my older articles or look at um, our STV, C, STC videos of the past. Um, but what is important, what's happening now, is less what uh, Microsoft are doing and more what cyber criminals are doing. And that is they're exploiting the hype, hype. they're exploiting the um, public's excitement um, about upgrading to Windows 11. Um, possibly the, the best example of this is a, a cyber criminal group called Fin7, who are also known as Carbonac. Um, they're very well known for um, Trojans in the payment processing world. Um, so they basically want to get their um, infections into that so they can take your still your credit card numbers and your banking credentials, etc. And what they've been found doing of late is using um, malware laced Microsoft Word documents, nothing unusual in that, but they, they're dressing them up as if they've been created by Windows 11, um, Windows 11 Alpha specifically, and saying that um, if you get one of these, it says on it that you need to click through to get the instructions on how to open that, <laughs> oh, the irony, how to open that document safely. So I guess this is, this is you know, optics, right? So already Windows 11 isn't here yet, and already we're talking about security vulnerabilities and threats and, you know, Microsoft trying to deal with all of that. We've talked before about the optics of Windows 11 and, you know, the kind of weird launch, it was here, it wasn't here, it was real, it wasn't real. Your computer would work, it wouldn't work. I mean, this is just more confusion, isn't it, for, for an already confused user base? Um, you know what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about the confusion on, on this side. This is going to happen. And these sort of cyber criminal threats are there all the time for every operating system. They, they never change. All they do is evolve and, 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 and target whatever's in the news at the minute, which happens to be Windows 11. I think more seriously from a, an optics viewpoint would be the question of security updates for Windows 11. Um, because you'd expect anybody with Windows 11 to have the very latest automatic um, updates to security. But that's not necessarily going to be the case, it would appear. Um, because you can actually skirt around, and Microsoft have admitted that you can um, skirt around the hardware requirements in terms of both CPU power and TPM and install Windows 11 doing a clean install using an ISO image or using the media creation tool. But if you do that, what you end up with is an unsupported version of Windows 11 that won't have access apparently um, to Windows Update, which means no access to um, secure automatic security updates or driver updates.